Today we're going to be looking at the DJI Telodrone. Alright, so grabbing the box here, we can see this is the DJI Tello. Uh, I have the boost combo, it's about $130 on Amazon, or if you just want the drone itself, you can get that for $100. This is probably the cheapest DJI drone you could buy in the market today. Um, so let's look at the stats on here. Uh, claims 13 minute battery time, 720p HD transmission, which is also video, precise hovering, so it has sensors on the bottom to help level it and keep it at a good altitude, electronic image stabilization, that's pretty good for these little drones, 5 megapixel photos, man, my camera from 2002 takes 5 megapixels, but you know, for a tiny drone, you got to deal what you got to deal with. So, bring the drones in. This is what was in the box. We get the little Tello drone. And we get three batteries and a charger. So, um, one thing to note, my drone, this is the white model. So, it came with this white cover plate. The plate comes off pretty easily. Uh, you just pinch. Then you can see it in there. It's There's basically nothing in there. This is... Like you put the battery in there, that's all the weight. You can also put the uh, cover on there. It's pretty easy. It just snaps on. Well, okay. Almost said easy. And uh, there we go. We got it on. And you have to buy the cover separately on the Tele website. But... um. So, one thing to know, notice about this drone is that it has brushed motors. These motors are not as reliable as brushless motors, so they will eventually not work. But uh, this should give you a good amount of life. These, these uh, protective covers also come off pretty easily, so if you don't want them on for some reason, you can always take them off. I just go ahead and leave them on because I'm going to end up losing them. It's a nice little drone. And uh, we'll show you the app in just a couple seconds. Turn it on. As you can see, there's a light. Now, I was trying to connect. However, this is a Wi-Fi drone, so you need to go inside of your Wi-Fi. So let me do that right now. So we go to Wi-Fi. Let's see if it focuses. Come on, focus. Alright, you may or may not be able to see it, but it says Tello. You just click Tello, it'll connect. Okay, uh, we're waiting. Alright, it says it's connected. So once it's connected, allow devices to connect to your network. It's going to pull up with the beginner guide. Um, well, this is if you don't know how to fly drones. A lot of people would buy this drone to give to their kids to learn how to fly a drone. I personally don't need all this stuff. I already know how to do it, but it tells you how to navigate the menus. Some cool little modes it does. Propeller guards. Installing propellers. And yeah, that's it. And now we're on to the video, as you can see right here. Um, one thing, this drone needs a lot of light. This is more of a you-take-outside drone. So... Right now I have my light. I'm going to make it brighter so the drone can actually see better. And as you can see, it's not the highest of quality. It's struggling to keep the ISO at a reasonable level so it's not a lot of noise. But it's still saying it's too like dark in here. So, yeah. So we're outside with the Telodrome. We are now gonna start a video on the Telodrome so you can see its perspective. And we'll start up the propellers. Okay, the props are spinning. Let's take off. Okay, 
So this drone flies, this is more of an indoor drone. Um, you shouldn't really be using this outside, but you know, if, if it's not windy outside, I think you can use it okay. Um, so first off, flying around real quick. Um, so I think the top speed on this drone is about 17 miles an hour, which for this little thing is actually pretty quick. This thing can take off. But it is a little windy though, so I don't know how good you're actually going to get that. And then you have to use a phone because it doesn't come with a controller, so. Alright. Alright. Let's do some modes. This thing has a ton of built-in modes. So, we'll... We'll save one of them for last, but first off, let's do 360 mode. Um, let me bring it closer to the camera so you can actually see what's going on. Hopefully the wind doesn't take it away. Alright, first mode called 360. And we'll show some phone footage from it, but it does a 360 in place. Um, it also has image stabilization ibis is what it's called it's not very good ibis it's digital ibis not mechanical okay so next mode we'll do is throw and go this is where you hold the drone like this make sure to pinch it from the bottom you start up the blades you only get five seconds to do this so you need to do it Otherwise, it'll just cut off, as you see right there. But let's do it. Let's do it again. But this time, throw it. Yep, that's right. You just throw your drone. Watch this. All right. That's now, this drone also has auto takeoff mode, which all you got to do is slide the bar, and it takes off automatically. And it goes about five meters in the air. So... We'll go ahead and show you the next mode real quick. Next mode will be up and away. This one I really like. So we'll have it. So we'll go to my plant over here. We'll try to get it centered up. And we will do the up and away. So... Here we go. As you can see on my screen, up and away. It's like a droney for drone professionals, if you know. It basically just goes back and up at the same time. And as you see from the video, that was it. That's all it did. So, uh, next mode. It's called 8D Flips. So go into our menu here, click 8D Flips, click Start. It shows a box on the screen. Now this box right here is kind of interesting. So you just swipe to do the commands. So I will swipe right now. As you see, it just did a flip. Do back. Uh, let's do a forward flip. Back flip again. Now this will drain your battery, but it's pretty fun to do. Alright, next mode is the circle mode. So this one... Uh, let's do it. So as you can see right now, it's doing a circle. It, it, it makes a circle based off where it is. So if you're really close to a house, I wouldn't recommend to start the drone. All 
and as you can see it's doing okay it's got a lot of automated features on there to help you out as a beginner so you can get more interested into the drones um, I believe that's it there's also a bounce mode which is the most useless mode that they've ever offered all it does it goes up and down that's it look I'm sh as you can see on the screen right now that's all it does I don't know what the point of this is but hey it's there if you want it it just goes all over the place as well so that's it that's the teller review Thank <music> you.